everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we'll be discussing another numerical based on concepts of total utility, marginal utility and Gaussian second law, which we have discussed in our previous video. So we have this question. Given the utility u is equal to x square plus 3xy minus 5y square, price of a commodity x is rupees 2, price of commodity y is rupees 3 and consumer's money income is rupees 6. Find out the equilibrium level of consumption of commodities x and y. Also prove the conditions for maximization. So what things do we get over here is? So we have consumer's money income which is equal to rupees 6. Now a consumer has income of rupees 6 and he will spend this income on two commodities that is x and y. So now in this case a consumer has money income of rupees 6 and this 6 rupees he will spend on two commodities x and y. Now we have price of x as 2. So 2 into quantity x plus price of commodity y is rupees 3 and quantity is y. So this becomes our condition. Now we have seen that according to Gossin's second law or law of equimarginal utility a condition for consumer equilibrium is M U X upon P of X is equal to M U Y upon P of Y. So this is nothing but this is a condition condition for consumer equilibrium. Now, now we need to find marginal utility of x and marginal utility of y because price of x and price of y we have already seen that price of x is rupees 2 and price of y is rupees 3. So how do we get marginal utility of x and marginal utility of y? So it's given in question that utility is equal to x square plus 3xy minus 5y square. So first we'll find marginal utility of x. Marginal utility of x is given by dava u by dava x and dava u by dava x. When we take dava u by dava x, we consider y as constant. Okay. So in this case, we will take y as constant. While differentiating, we will take y as constant. So now, the basic formula for differentiation is Note this formula. Differentiation of x raised to n is equal to nx raised to n minus 1. So this is one of the most important formula for differentiation. Now, in this case, we have x squared. So what we are going to do is, so we have x squared. We are going to differentiate it with respect to x. So differentiation of x square is in this case n is equal to 2. So here we have 2 into x raised to 2 minus 1. This is nothing but 2x raised to 1 or we can say 2x. So a differentiation of x square is 2x plus. Now, as I've already told you, when we differentiate u with respect to x, we take y as constant. So, 
taking y as constant that is 3y because it is constant we will take this out 3y differentiation of now we will differentiate the other term that is the other term is x minus same goes over here will uh, since y is constant we will take this out 5y square differentiation of 1 okay so we have 1 in this case now let's see what we get so marginal utility of x is equal to 2x plus 3y and da by x by da by x, this gives us 1. one and minus 5 by square. Now, differentiation of a constant term is 0. So, multiplied by 0. Now, the final equation we have is marginal utility of x is equal to 2x plus 3y. So, this becomes our marginal utility of x. Now, similarly, we will find marginal utility of y. So, similarly, we will find marginal utility of y. Marginal utility of y will find. But for that, we have utility as x square plus 3xy minus 5y square. x square plus 3xy minus 5y square. This is our utility. Okay. Now, similarly, marginal utility of y is equal to daba u by daba y. Now, since we are differentiating with respect to y, we will take x as constant in this case. Okay. So, in this case, we take x as constant. Now, again, we have that basic differentiation rule. Okay. So, in this case, we will first differentiate with respect to y. So, we will take x square as constant. So, x square plus, since we are taking x as constant, take this out and then we will just differentiate with respect to y. 5 is constant term. Okay, so this becomes an equation. Let's simplify this equation. So, x square. Now, differentiation of a constant term is always 0. So, as we have already seen that, differentiation of a constant term is 0. So, this term becomes 0. So, 0 plus 3x now, daba y by daba y is equal to 1. So, this is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 minus 5. Now, differentiation of y square. So, again applying the same formula. But here it is with respect to y. So, differentiation of y square is equal to, in this case, let's take n to be equal to 2. So, we have 2y, 2 minus 1. So, this is nothing but 2y raised to 1, which is nothing but 2y. So, here we have instead of x, we are differentiating it with respect to y. Simple. 
So here it becomes 5 multiplied by 2y. So our marginal utility for y in this case becomes equal to 3x minus 5 to the n y. Now, the condition for consumer equilibrium is this. m of x upon p of x is equal to m of y upon p of y. So, a consumer is said to be in equilibrium when m of x is equal to p of x that is equal to m u of y upon p of y. Now, this is our condition. From our previous slides, we have seen that m u of x is equal to 2x plus 3y. So we have, uh, I'll write over here, m u of x is equal to 2x plus 3y. 2x plus 3y and mu of y is equal to 3x minus 10y. Now, from our question, price of x is 2. And price of y is 3. So, we'll substitute all these values and see what do we get. So, 2x plus 3y divided by price of x is 2 which is equal to mu of y, which is 3x minus 10y divided by price of y is 3. Now, we have this. Let's simplify this equation. 3 2s are 6x plus 3 3s are 9y is equal to 2 3s are 6x minus 2 10s are 20. Now, now what do we get us? 6x plus 9y minus 6x plus 20y is equal to 0. So 6x, 6x gets cancelled and now 9 plus 20 is 29y is equal to 0 which means y is equal to 0. Now we will find the value of x. What did we get? We have seen that our y is equal to 0 and so, by substituting y is equal to 0, in our budget constraint, we get x is equal to 3. So, we got x is equal to 3. This means that a consumer attains his equilibrium when he consumes 3 units of x and no unit of y. This is when the consumer attains equilibrium. Now, Now the final case that we have. So we have seen that when a consumer consumes 3 units of x and 0 units of y, a consumer attains his equilibrium. But what is his maximum utility? So for that, we will substitute these values in this equation. u is equal to x square plus 3x minus 5y. By substituting uh, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 0, in this utility function, we get it. <clears throat> we get 
maximum utility. So, we have this equation. So, utility is equal to x square plus 3xy minus 5y square. This was a utility function. Now, we have seen that when a consumer consumes 3 units of x and 0 units of commodity y, he attains his equilibrium. That is, when a consumer attains his equilibrium, he gets maximum satisfaction with his limited income. So now, let's calculate his maximum utility. So, x square, that is 3 square plus 3 into 3 into 0 minus 5 into 0 square. So, the maximum utility becomes 3 square 9, 3 3s are 9 into 0, this becomes 0 and this again becomes 0. So, the maximum utility that a consumer derives is 9. This becomes his maximum utility. That's it for this video. In our subsequent videos, we'll be discussing various other numericals as well. So, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.